The following is a presentation of Geekster Media. Welcome to another edition of Wax Pack Flashback. In fact, this is a special edition. Uh, we got something going on in the world of vintage trading cards that you might not be expecting. So recently, uh, my buddy Sean Robert and his blog, Plastic Rocket Pop, if you head on over to his website, uh, he was writing about a cool new trend uh, from Cirqueworks Art Labs, where they are recreating, or for the first time, uh, creating packs of cards based on movies that never got a trading card set, but it's done in a vintage style, okay? And he was you know, sharing all the different movies that uh, this fantastic artist uh, was was bringing to life uh, in trading card form. It's something that Sean himself has done in the past for the Monster Squad when it was getting re-releases in different formats. He was able to do that. It was very fun stuff. I would have some of those cards. Uh, but then he said one particular movie uh, had gotten a trading card set. And it was one particular movie that means a lot to me. And it was Mac and Me. Yes, I love Mac and Me. We'll get more into this pack of cards shortly. But this is a movie that meant so much to me. When I saw this in the video store back in the day, I was fascinated. Just this, who is this alien? What's this kid doing here? Then I watched the movie. There is McDonald's in this movie. McDonald's was my happy place back then. And I was just like, I can't believe it. They're going to McDonald's. There's Skittles. There's Coke. There's so much product placement in this movie. Most exciting of all, though, is when they go to the Sears store. And when they're in the kid's bedroom, there's all these vintage 80s toys that I loved as a kid. And so even then, seeing them on screen in real time, is it Brave Star? Is it the, uh, you know, the mad scientist dissected alien? you know, whatever it was. So a lot of people, though, with Mac and me, hey, I have multiple copies of VHS. I sure do. People will say, ah, oh, it's just an E.T. ripoff. What do you think about that, E.T.? Hey, E.T., go home. I don't care. I did not need E.T. I was too young for E.T. when it came out. This is my E.T. Mac and me was the film that just captured the 80s for me. Like, if you just go and say, is there a film that really embodies your 1980s, Mac and Me does it. It was shot in California where I grew up. The stores, the merchandise, the fashion, all of that is 100% what I was growing up around in 1988. So it's just so special. Plus, there's some great cameos in that movie. Nikki Cox, Jennifer Aniston, unrecognizable. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on. But so that being the case, I have just continued to pick up copies of Mac and Me over the years. Finally on Blu-ray here, right? Special editions. I almost got the soundtrack on vinyl years back and I lost the auction. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Paul Rudd's been doing a lot to keep the movie alive. But to find a pack of cards now, even if they're not vintage, they're done in the vintage style. They're meant to evoke those feelings. I am so excited to share this with you and open it up. So let's do it. Okay, so here we are with our pack of Mac and Me trading cards brought to you by Pops, <laughs> the mysterious alien creature and his earthbound adventure. So this is definitely aping the style of the E.T. trading cards by Tops from back in the day. Nine cards, one sticker, one stick of bubblegum, giving you all even, like, look at that fine print down there. There's the 1988 Orion pictures, all of that is, oh man, the details. But, you know, just look at kind of like the pop art, you know, little bits that you can see there. Now, when you flip it over here, now you have Bazooka Joe, right? <laughs> this bazooka gum, that's all, ah, I mean, look... Just down to every single detail, it feels as though it's, you know, been a little bit greased or, you know, you know how the, those old packs do that. So let's open this up because this is just beautiful. Look at this right here, man. A true work of art. Oh, I cannot wait to see what movies we get here. What scenes from the film. Okay. 
So first off, let's start with our sticker. Oh, I finally have a Mac for Mac and Me sticker. I will tell you, when I showed this movie to my kids for the first time, they started doing the whistle and the hand movements. That really caught their attention, so that's great. There is our stick of gum. As we know, Mac himself actually chews some gum, and at the very final seconds of the film, uh, there is something involving gum. So, all right, so here we go with our first card. Ugh tell me to back off so this is where max family ends up in a grocery store uh, which was a style of grocery store in california that i was visiting quite often it just brings back so many memories when i watch those scenes now look at the back of this card there you have the infamous wheelchair off the cliff scene being recreated as a background that is beautiful all right max father is held at gunpoint by an inept security guard who continually instructs him to put that down even though the alien is not holding anything Thing. The guard then demands that he back off before being easily disarmed by the creature. Oh, this is great. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, speaking of the end of the film here, so I was just mentioning that. So, uh, as you might recall, Max family gets naturalized. They become Earth citizens and U.S. citizens. Here they are being sworn in. You can see little Mac on the bottom there. Uh, let's check out here what they say. While the path to U.S. citizenship is typically a long and arduous ordeal, Mac and his family are granted citizenship without any delay, despite having committed multiple crimes. <laughs> I love how this is like cinema sins, right? This is like pointing out, well, here's the stuff that doesn't make sense in this movie, the keen eye. Uh, now, going even farther into the end of the film, they're driving on a California freeway in a pink Cadillac, Mac in the back of the pink Cadillac, Cadillac, and then he says, we'll be back. But of course, they never are. Let's see what it says here. Eric, Mac, and their families and friends drive off in a shiny pink Cadillac. Mac blows a giant bubble with the phrase, we'll be back. Sadly, poor box office returns ensured this would not be the case. Oh, I still want that Mac and Me sequel. Can I, can I write a sequel? Can you please produce it? Netflix, anybody? All right, Mac and Me Coke, the elixir of life. Of course, as we know, they kind of managed to get Mac uh, to come out into the light, so to speak, or at least visibly uh, by putting little cups of Coke through the hallway in place of Reese's Pieces, like we saw at E.T. In a blatant display of product placement, Mac is nursed back to health with Coca-Cola, proving that Coke can be used to clean your car battery terminals, but is also a life-saving elixir for aliens. Oh, okay. So they're doing this. This is uh, towards the end. Yeah, when all his family is, like, dehydrated and stuff in this cave, and they're feeding him Coke. Okay, that's true. I should have seen that. Oh, here is a fantastic scene. Uh, so here are Eric and Mac on the run from these guys in suits on foot. That always cracked me up that they run so far on foot down these hills through traffic chasing these kids. <laughs> I guess they figured if they were in a vehicle, they would catch them quickly. One of the most thrilling and memorable scenes involves the young protagonist Eric and the friendly alien creature Mac being pursued by the film's villains. As Eric and Mac escape, they navigate the bustling streets in a wheelchair. The pursuit takes a comically chaotic turn as Eric, Mac, and the villains engage in a wild chase sequence. Oh, that's great. Okay, we have another... Uh, part of the chase here. So this looks like, as you can see right behind them, there is a Masters of the Universe uh, toy in the box. This is them at Sears, where you can actually see all the displays and everything. The power of distraction. So... Mac was brought to life through a combination of puppetry and animatronics. In addition, Mac was portrayed by a performer wearing a costume in certain scenes. This allowed for more mobility and interactions with the human characters. Yes, indeed. Uh, but this is a great scene where Mac blows up like a bunch of appliances. <gasps> we got it! We got a McDonald's card! Dance party McDonald's, baby! Oh, yeah! So if you see right here, this little girl in yellow, that is Nikki Cox, who went on to star in Unhappily Ever After. She's super tidy, uh, but when you see her there, she is just all about the dancing. Okay, Mac and Me features a significant integration of McDonald's branding, with several scenes set in a McDonald's restaurant. The characters even participate in the dance number with Ronald McDonald. This integration was part of a marketing deal between the filmmakers and the fast food chain. Uh, the fact that we have vintage McDonald's saved on screen, 
Uh, it's just, it's so special. Another thing that makes this movie very, very important. Come on, let's believe it. All right, finally, here we have a, a visitor arrives. So there's a real good look at Mac just peeking out. Let's see what we say here. The design Mac, Mysterious Alien Creature, was influenced by marketing considerations. The filmmakers hoped that the character would become popular enough to sell as a plush toy, but the movie's poor reception affected these plans. Ah, you should have put them into production before. We could be paying hundreds of dollars for Mac dolls. Come on. All right, last card here. You knew it had to be in here. Yep, runaway wheelchair. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Comedian and actor Paul Rudd has a running gag on various talk shows where he pretends to share a clip from a new blockbuster film, only to show the infamous wheelchair scene from Mac and Me instead. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Every one of these cards. Woo! All right, but let's see which is my favorite. Well, those were even better than I imagined they would be. I am so happy these things exist. I am actually trying to imagine now... Were they created to appear there's a full set, but you only ever get these cards? Or is this a full set that I actually could collect if I buy multiple packs? They're not cheap. This is a specialty item, but it would totally be worth it to me to have a full set of Mac and Me cards. Okay, my birthday's coming up. Uh, so Cirque works, I gotta know. Now, as far as my favorite card, I mean, really every card was beautiful, but I gotta go with this one because this is what the movie is about, right? This is Eric and Mac together, united in adventure. And I just, I love that. So that's great. Um, now, as far as what CircWorks is doing here, okay, I want to tell you, CircWorks.com, you can get on over there uh, and you can see what they're up to because there are other movies that are card sets are being created for. Mac and Me may not be for you. It may not fill you with as much nostalgia as it does for me, but how about labyrinth okay so yes a labyrinth card here uh these are very much based on the dark crystal cards which i have a ton of i, I bought a whole box of them at some point i don't know why i don't even like that movie uh, but it was cheap uh how about grease 2 this is my wife's favorite she doesn't like the first grease she likes grease 2 but again a fantastic design on these cards that would really feel like they were of the era uh how about Buckaroo Banzai. Yes, indeed. Buckaroo Banzai cards. It got a comic, but never trading cards. So there you go. But there, there's many more. So go to surfworks.com. Check that out for yourself. Just a free plug there. Also, shout out once again to Sean Robert at Plastic Rocket Pop. Go over, see his site, and uh, fill your, your brain and your heart with uh, lots of vintage nostalgia over there. Uh, we will be back again. We have more cards to open up. Actual vintage cards. Will they bring as much excitement? But it's the back of me. It is hard to tell. Ah, but hey, until next time, we'll check you later. This has been a presentation of Geekster Media.